So we have these devices, these uh, smartphones, and <laughs> this technology. I mean, if you watch the news and if you listen to what's going on, you think you think these things were the worst thing in the world. Now, I get it. Oh, man, do I get it. There's all kinds of issues with these devices, right? I mean, there's the privacy issue. There's the people selling our data issue. But more than that, there's the addiction issue, right? I mean, people are addicted to these devices. I know what that's like. Okay? I, I sleep with this on my bed. I have it with me all the time, my smartphone. It's absolutely incredible. And I love, I love that I live in a world that has them. You love them too. I know, I know, I mean, billions and billions of dollars in this industry. It's not just me. I know you folks love it too. Okay? It's an addictive device. And it's turning our brains to mush sometimes. And there are a lot of young people who are, you know, not having a good time with it. Technology is its double-edged sword, right? Ray Kurzweil talks about that. Double-edged sword. And it can help us and it can hurt us. And I don't know. Technology has always done that, hasn't it? So we have social media networks. We have our smartphone devices. And it's like this incredible, even the word incredible doesn't, it doesn't even work. I mean, it's so watered down. It's mind blowing to me that we have these things and this is what we're doing with it. Don't get me wrong, I love it. I love the games. I, I, I love having access to YouTube. I love the video chats. I love, I love, I love, I love, I love, I love Instagram. I love, I love all these things, okay? I'm addicted to, sort of. <laughs> but these devices, you hear so many people complaining about them. I hear advocates, technology advocates, claiming that we should turn them off. We should disconnect. I, I, I hope to God those people don't win. I don't think the problem are, is these devices. I think it's how we're using it. I mean, of course it's how we're using it. And it might be nearly impossible. Maybe people will say it's nearly impossible to use it correctly. Just so stimulating. It's so... I do not see a future without these devices. And I do not see a future without these social networks. They are, they are amplifications of who we are as human beings. They make us more human. Human beings love to communicate. And this allows us to communicate in ways we've never communicated before. Human beings communicate with pictures. And now we have access to more pictures and video than ever before. We, we have offloaded our memory to these devices, so now we no longer have to hold all this data in our heads. I used to know so many phone numbers when I was a kid. Before the internet, I knew so many phone numbers and addresses. Now, I don't need to know any of those things. I just say the person's name. These devices are incredible. But if you were to listen to the media, it sounds like they are, it's the apocalypse. And in some ways it is, right? It's the end of the world as we know it. There's no going back. These technologies, I mean, I've been, this has been my dream. A network where human beings are plugged in uh, 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 and sending their intention to a singular point. And every day that I get on to public tra or a bus or subway or something, every time I go to a park or wherever and I see people on their devices, I just think, wow, this is amazing. I mean, yeah, it sucks. They're not looking around. They're not enjoying their environment. There's people right around them, but they're connected to far more people in their devices. And one day, one day, you're going to pick up your phone and you're, it's going to do that chime, that notification, that buzz, whatever it does. And it's going to let you know, hey, another person has added themselves to the audience. To the happy for a change audience of people who are willful and want to make the world a better place and are willing to do so with the push of a button. Ha! That number has reached 1 million, 5 million, 10 million. I don't, the sky's the limit, right? 
One day you're going to look at your device and it's going to say, we accomplished this. This was done because we gave it the power of our attention. And then we're going to be addicted to our phones for another reason. Because it's going to allow us to shape the world in ways that is far more precise, far more enjoyable. We're just going to give our attention to great ideas. And you're going to accomplish in just a few minutes... Actions that will have repercussions on your life that might have taken far longer than that. And you can get on with wasting your time and watching whatever, video, <coughs> excuse me, cat videos or whatever you want to watch. And it won't matter because you spent a few minutes that morning, that day, that evening, letting people know what you care about, what you value, interacting with ideas that you thought were worthwhile, making the world a better place. You will have done that. You with your device. The same device that people complain about, the same device that's going to save us. I get it. A nuclear bomb? Devastating. Right? But that technology incredibly useful. These devices can be destructive. But I think what it's doing is that it's forcing us to be more conscientious, more aware, more deliberate with our time. Because now every single moment, you're competing with this addiction. This glorified, wonderful, approved addiction. It's not going away. And now you have to make a choice every minute of every day. If you have this, if you're connected. What do I do? What do I do on this device? What do I do on the internet? What do I do? Who do I connect with? What gets my attention? And because we're connected, that, that, that information, that input, that feedback gets uh, amplified and used in order to shape products and services and shape the world. Uh, I love technology. I love technology. And I'm not saying that I want to live in a world where we're all cyborged up and connected to... Uh, God knows what. I'm not saying I want that. I think we can craft a future with technology that, that, that really creates a wonderful world of balance. Don't listen to the people who tell you that your social media is bad, that your smartphones are bad, and that you should get rid of these things, okay? Yes, you need more discipline, but just know that these are incredibly powerful tools in your pocket. It, it's a supercomputer in your pocket. It took three megabytes to get human beings to the moon, all right? You have far more than that. We're going to have a terabyte in our pocket soon. You can create, you can connect. You can empower yourself, make your life more efficient, all with your smartphone. And most of us are not even using it near to its capacity. Playing Candy Crush on the toilet, right? There's more we can do, there's more you can do. Make your choices when it comes to these devices. Allow it to train you to be more deliberate. Figure out different places to go online, different places to connect to, different communities and tribes and resources and tools and videos and channels and subscriptions and follow. Connect to things. Connect to streams of information and data that's going to improve your life. And if you don't want to get rid of the things that you already do, just add just add these that's add these currents to your to your world. Add these streams to your to what you're giving your attention to. To your devices. Technology, social media, smartphones, these aren't bad things. They can be incredibly devastating, but we can use that just the same. In fact, the fact that they're that devastating, the fact that they're that harmful tells us how good it is. How useful it can be how much it can change. Oh my God, I get so excited when I think about this. It just, I just lose my mind. A whole network, a planet of people connected, inputting their desires, their dreams, their wishes, their perspective into the cybernetic collective and speaking occasionally with one voice and saying, this idea, 
that thing, that person. We want more of that. We want more. We will interact with that. An audience of people with these devices are going to be stronger than... An... <laughs> Technology is wonderful. Smartphones are wonderful. Social media is wonderful. You are wonderful. Only if you're aware, right? Only if you pay attention. Only if you're deliberate. All right. I want to talk to you about something else. I think you're you're getting what I'm putting down. So I want to talk to you about relational philosophy. A relational philosophy is one that assumes, that presumes that nothing exists independent from anything else, that everything exists in relationship to one another, that you can't talk about one thing without talking about something else. 